welcome back everyone to another week of our Friday prayer sessions here at the Kingdom Church with your host, your minister, your prophet, Gary Rojas. I hope your weekend has been wonderful. I hope it has been blessed. I hope you have been increasing and in learning. And today we are going to get into some prayer. So be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified every week when we pray and see the progress of this ministry and be updated when new content and be sure to hit that. Um, like button as well because that does help with the YouTube algorithm in promoting the video to more viewers. All right, so without further ado, let's just get right into the prayer session. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for this day. I want to thank you for everything that you are doing in my life and in the lives of all the members and the viewers everywhere around the world. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. We give thanks for today's Friday prayer session to come together with each and every single person around the world to pray this night. In Jesus' mighty name. I know it's late for those of you that are watching. It's actually 8.35 as I'm recording this because I fell asleep after I came home and had my dinner because I'm tired. You know, running a full-time ministry and a full-time job, all these different types of things. Nevertheless, we are here. We are here to pray. Hey! Yes! Sara Shuntarana Hereskias. We gotta get, get, get fired up. Vrakatasa yandre kelegru kutusa bratavas. Igrasi yandre ne kriangre kutusa jabravanaharia teandis. Abrasa brahatunus. I know it's probably late when you are getting to this, but we are in a mode of prayer, especially for this week. This week is going to be quite a journey some week for me vrakataziat brikeruk sun pravanaya reski andre kelegra katazajiane savrahatis brikutum pravanahadris faratasi andre kelegra katanian grekotuziat so yesterday are you hearing this yesterday i got home and i had my dinner and typically when I finish having my dinner, I sit on the couch and I listen to my mom talk for a little bit. And as I'm sitting on the couch and I'm listening to my mom speak, the Holy Spirit says to me, your passport is expired. And, you know, sometimes when I hear the Holy Ghost speak, even though I know he's always right, you still get this moment where I'm like, oh, no, I, this can't be. So I go to my room and i check immediately and what do you know my passport expired january 30 which is about two weeks ago and i have a flight next tuesday at 9 at 11 p.m an international flight at in at on tuesday so i took my vacation next week so now I'm telling you this story and now I'm talking with the Holy Ghost and I say what do I do so I immediately google like expedited passports and I go onto the government website and I see that you can go to a passport agency right to get some expedited service so I, I immediately call the number that they provide, and I'm speaking with the customer service representative over the phone, her name was Vanessa, and she says, okay, there's, you have Philadelphia and New York, but Philadelphia, there's no appointments 
for when you need it because she checked from Thursday, well, from Friday, Monday, and um, yeah, Friday and Monday. Verik Santra Nayarik Skuzuks Kazaja Brava Hazia's in it. And Tuesday, I'm sorry, because I fly, I believe, Wednesday. Paraksambra Navaniat. Anyway, I fly on the 22nd to get to London on the 23rd, so I don't know what day that is. Baraksandrinias, and she says, Oh, but there's an appointment at 10 30 in New York. Do you want me to book it? And I'm like, Yes, book it, please. And she's explaining to me as she's booking it, you know, that's, you know, we got to book this quick because. You know, these things, go, they go by pretty quickly. And I'm telling her to book it. And as soon as she tries to book it, she says, Oh, I'm sorry. Unfortunately, somebody else took it. Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this? Are you hearing this? And I'm like, my goodness. So now I'm speaking to this woman over the phone. She says, okay, so the next, the, the other locations that we have, one is in Puerto Rico. So I'm sitting now on the internet trying to find flights to this these government agencies, passport agencies. So I checked Puerto Rico and it's like a thousand dollar flight. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. And then she says, okay, well, we have Austin, Texas, and I'm looking for the flights, nothing. So we're, I'm sitting with this lady. She's telling me of all these locations in other states, and I'm trying to see if I can make it there in time if I drove. And then she says, well, we have one in Arkansas. I said, okay, well, Arkansas is a little bit closer, you know. And then she says, we have one in Chicago, Illinois, and Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm just like, just book it in Chicago because that happened to be the cheapest one for $400. I know the enemy was not going to make this easy because that 1030 appointment in New York in New York on a Friday, which was supposed to be today, would have made everything so much easier. I would have been unable to get my passport expedited. But it's not. So my appointment is on Tuesday at 11 a.m in chicago illinois <laughs> so i am leaving new jersey at 5 a.m to get to chicago on a flight 7 a.m go to the passport agency hopefully hopefully get my passport the same day because i was speaking with the person on the phone and they say that they do print them the same day so it is my hope that I get my passport the same day, take a flight back home at 7 p.m., get to New Jersey back at 11 to be able to take my flight on Wednesday at 11 p.m. at night to get to London on Thursday morning at 11. Ziprokotu Zabranaviat to be able to attend the Prophet Uber Angels prophetic retreat advanced prophetic retreat so that's my week that's that's going to be my week i have a lot of hurdles to get through but i want just i wanted to explain that to you so you can see these things the things that i go through and the things that the holy spirit does paraksatra niandre because I don't know if you guys remember my Exodus 2022 story of what happened and all the hurdles that I had to overcome to be able to go to London in 2022 or well, 2021 to 2022. So we're going to be praying as I have been praying for a couple more minutes now. If you've been praying while you've been listening to the story concerning this issue, that all may go well. Holy Spirit, you did not remind me that my passport is expired only for all this thing to go south. Because if you reminded me in that moment on Thursday at 6 p.m., that means we made it in time. Because I could have heard it any other day. Why didn't I hear it two weeks ago? Why didn't I hear it a week ago? But I heard it. I heard you tell me. 
Thursday, 6 p.m., that my passport was expired. And sure enough, it was. So if you reminded me, that means we made it in time. So everything is going to plan. We shall make it to Chicago. We shall make it back home with passport in hand, renewed to be on our flight to London on Wednesday. We shall make it. Ziprukutudiga, in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. It is happening, it is taking place. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. Begin to pray right now. We're going to pray right now. We're going to pray right now. Birik Santanaya Rekus Atradiak Sendre Kilegrakatazaja Bravanaya Reskian Tehetas. E Santarana Yeku Paradisa Alexantanaya Yekus Kazajavanayan Greco to the Brahavania Tetras. E Trecotus Kiandre Ketigrahadis. Excentronusa Brakavaranax Kazajavrahadia de Exclusavra. Indre Kutuk Skandra Kayarik Skazaja Bravanaharik. Begin to pray right now. Begin to pray right now. Biruk Suntana Yarekratavanias. For an increase in discipline. Azak Saja Brayanetus, Azaja Bahanaya. Aprakatavaji Andre Kutuski Alingra Katazajavanian. Begin to pray right now for an increase in discipline, in wisdom, in knowledge and in understanding. There shall be an increase happening and taking place over your life. Just simply by being Engraft into this ministry. Varak Santranaya Rix Kiangetezujux Kavahaziane Tabaravahatus. Just simply by your reason of being here in this place, your wisdom, your understanding, your knowledge is increasing, and so is your sight. Virik Santranaya Rix Katazajabrakavanaires. Andra Karanaks Kiangrene Krutuzias. You shall see everything that is required and that is needed. To be able to go through the process of this life. Are you hearing me? Because there are many people in this world that are blind. Not just Christians. Vidic Sandrias. That they cannot be able to discern the things that are necessary in order to increase. They are not able to discern the people which God has put in their lives who have gone ahead already and has now revealed to them the things that they need to do in order to get to where they want to go. Are you getting this? This is how I pray. I'm only turning these lights. I only have these lights on so you can see me. But if... I was here in this place, as I normally do every day, every morning or every evening, I just circle this place, praying for hours. One of the brothers in the ministry, or one of, you know, he, always, he says to me, dude, I don't know how you pray for five hours. Like, I don't get it. And I told him, why? Ibraksan taranaya rekutus kiang grekelavrahadas. It is happening, it is taking place. You are increasing in knowledge, in wisdom, and in understanding simply by the grace that is upon my life. Because if it was by works, it would not come to you. Are you getting this? If it was by works, 
by your deeds and by my deeds, it would have not fallen unto me in perfect places, and it would not come to you as well. But it is coming to you. You shall have that grace that when you open a book to read it, doesn't matter in what it doesn't matter in what genre, literature, profession, category that you read in, whether it's philosophy, psychology, mathematics, biology, you shall have the grace to understand what you are reading. You won't know why. It is by the grace that is upon this ministry and upon my life. Real estate. Everything, you shall have it. It is coming to you. You shall have the discipline to accomplish all that you wish to accomplish within the day. You shall find the hours. You shall find the tenacity, the persistence, and the will. It is happening. It is taking place for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Paraksan taranaya re kutuski andre kelegra katevajiat. Most people don't realize what it takes to do what I'm doing. They think they can just pray one prayer. You know, most people, they want to do what I'm now doing, but they don't realize what it takes to do what I'm doing. You know how many people I meet on the streets, whenever I go, and it's people I speak to, they say, I just want to serve God. And then you ask them what they want to serve God in. And they want to minister. They want to preach. So they want the glory of being the person on the stage, on the pulpit, preaching and ministering to others. But they don't want to go through the fire that is necessary to go through. I'm telling you. Do you think this is easy? This is not. To be able to have the discipline to work full-time, have a full-time ministry, read the word and pray, and to be on my game. Most of you, you go to work full-time, and while going to work full-time, you can't even find time to read. And not just you, but this is Christians in general, or in people in general. By the time you get home from 4 or 5 p.m., wherever it is, you're already watching TV, and by 8 o'clock, you're knocked out. Whereas in my case, yes, today was a long day. I came home 8, and I took a nap, and I fell asleep. But what are we doing now? I'm up now. And I know that these things, it was about a three-hour nap. I'm up now, and we're praying. And even though after this, I finished this, and I edited it, I will come back to prayer because I now have a long night, a long day ahead of me. So I will pray and then I will begin to do other things, read the word, study, all this stuff. What is that? Discipline. 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 I don't know how best to explain it. You will never see me on my phone. That is one of my biggest, biggest pet peeves is when I see people on their phone. What is on your phone that is so important that you need to be on your phone? There are so many more important things to do in this world and you decide to be on your phone doing what? If it is not for the reason of researching, you are researching something that you need to learn, then what is the purpose? For entertainment, so you're lost. We are still in discipline, in will. We are still in discipline, in knowledge, in understanding, in wisdom. 
ngirik san taranaya ke oksuja vahasiam panavrata edeskus indre karaks kanda za javrahadias hesala pratavanaya re kataziat ze prokotu za vaziaks kenda xian grekotuziat i got to get the blood flowing e prutus kaza javahates pahanda rakaya rekus em pavaks kanda za xian gezekskus javahanian tehetas e pasavahanian e kandra nakrakian getus sashafahanas i'm telling you this thing oh we are going far well when i say we hopefully that means including you because i'm telling you as you can see me you know with this discipline this tenacity this ferociousness that i have to be able to keep going to keep going and to not stop and having my god to back me oh ho oh, who are you kidding my brother my sister we are going far i know i am are you paraksantra nayarix kiang getezux kaza javaniat do you have what it takes what did i say in that service if you don't don't worry we can plant it in you because most people don't have what it takes but that's why you are here to receive what it takes because all you need is jesus if you have jesus you will make it are you hearing me pazax kaza javaniat and is it a no wonder when the bible says that i can do all things through christ which gives me strength varax kaza javaniat si prekotus kaza javanavrahatia sentre kele grakatavani angrekotus javratavanat i'm telling you i'm telling you parax antranaerex kuzu javanavrahatis ikata zujata atis im prekotus kantranaerekatavanias Indre kenias indre kelegre kutuza jabranavatas this life i have ling i have lived long enough listen to me very carefully i have lived long enough to know what is in the hearts of man ziprokotuzak skian zijevanakas i am speaking to you now as a father Se prokotus kaza jabrana vrati adrex kaza vrani antahates I'm speaking to you now Birik santrana yare kotus kaza jabrana vahatis Just to you that are watching no one else There is no one else that I care for aside from you that are watching that have appended yourself to this ministry because let me tell you a lot of people they're going to be coming later on but when they come it's only because they now see me in my glory are you getting this are you hearing this but where are the people now right where are they now they're no way to be found ze prokotus kaza jabratavanias etre kotus kaza navraha kadia dex kaza jevreni angra katahatis but now when i'm in my glory and they see the nice life they see the nice car the nice house now people will be start coming out of the woodworks ze prokotus kaza jabravana hadrias ze prakavana kradia dex kozu jabravana hadis so what is the moral of this story za pravanax kaza jabrani angre kotuzia teza vahatis it is as i say and i as i teach you paraksantana depending on what you want in this life and depending how far you are willing to go to get it you are going to have to go through some stuff there is no one you have ever met in this life that has made it far that has not told you that they haven't sacrificed in order to get there zipravanakskias in order for me to get to this point in my life i sacrificed everything i gave everything Can you imagine the things that I gave and people still don't have the discernment to see everything that I have and everything that I gave up and how long it took in order to be able to stand where I'm now standing ministering to you on a Friday and this is prayer session and notice there is nobody here just you ze prokotus kaza jabrana vrani angre katavahatis drik centronux kalabrak tavanias everything take sacrifice what are you willing to sacrifice to get to where you want to go zikrutuski andre kenias 
because there's nobody that's going to be by your side to hold your hand to get to where you need to go. If you think that's the case, you will not get far. If you are looking for somebody to hold your hand, somebody to encourage you, you may be one of the fortunate ones, one of the lucky ones that you may have that. But it's, that is not always the case. Some of us, we must get there without any encouragement. Without anybody congratulating us. So it gets to be very, very... The pressure is on. And this is why I always say that the Holy Spirit will be that best friend. He will be that person who encourages you. He will be that best friend that you can speak to at all moments. As I said, the Holy Spirit reminded me that the passport was expired. So notice, I didn't need a friend. I didn't need anyone. I didn't call up a best friend. I didn't call up a friend and say, hey, you know, you know I got this flight on a Thursday. I got to go to London panicking. What do I do? My passport's expired. Notice, I didn't need anyone. So I have Zaksusha Prahatavanias. I have trained this flesh long enough to not need anyone. Paraksantranayas. The only person I need and I never want to leave me is the Holy Ghost. Because he is my best friend. I include him in everything. I talk to him every moment, every second of the day. Now you should be saying, what is he saying? What does he mean by that? If you are not talking to the Holy Ghost every moment, every second of the day and including him in everything, you have not yet attained to what I'm saying. When you have that fellowship with the Holy Ghost, you can speak to Him every day, every moment. And He will speak back. And you will begin to realize, I don't need anyone. You'll begin to realize that you won't need anyone. All you will need is the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, and all of them can be found within you. And isn't it a wonder why the Bible says that the kingdom of God is without you? Right? That's what the Bible says, right? That the kingdom of God is on the outside. No, the Bible says that the kingdom of God is within you. So Father, Son, Holy Ghost, the triune, the fullness of God is in you. So why do you need anyone else? But again, I'm not going to get into that because that's a different revelation. All I'm doing right now, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. Because when I pressed the record button, I gave it to the Holy Ghost. So I'm just speaking we're praying and speaping this is a uh, i guess a uh, saprahatuzi jitianix a mixture of both of just me speaking and us praying together as one prekata brasavrana karaski angre kotuza jabrata vahadis so catch it 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 Anyway, like I said, this is a sanctuary. And anyone who is a kingdom church member, anyone who attends these, uh, these messages, you are more than welcome to show up here. You can contact me. And you more than like you're invited. And we can pray. We can read the word. And that's what I have planned. To be able to pray on a Friday here. Pray on a Wednesday here. Or Bible study on a Wednesday here. And I'm going to be purchasing seats soon. So we can put some seats here. But I am not looking to have the church here. This is just a sort of headquarters. So I'm going to be talking when I get back from vacation. I'm going to be calling um, a commercial real estate agent. 
to try to see if I can find a building to purchase. And obviously I'm going to have to get a loan because we don't have the finances yet to be able to purchase one cash. So I am going to have to exert myself towards this thing where I'm going to have to get a loan and to see how much I can get approved for and to see what our first building to the Lord can be. And since we are just starting off, I don't need some big fancy building with, you know, a lot of things. A starter building will do for this moment in this, this moment, this block of time within this ministry's journey and within my journey. In Jesus' mighty name, Father, we give you thanks, glory, and praise for everything that you've done for us and our salvation. Hey! Yasa kara denus kias. Jesus! Hallelujah! Saksa sham pravadusa aravakana gegu. Jesus! Yeah! Barak Satana Karatis. Ikrekutusulokratabas. Let me tell you, if I can just have my own temple, like temple, I would do this all day. From from morning until night, I would just be in the temple. Because I know what I'm doing. There's things that you don't realize that this is a, this is a sanctuary. I've already this here's a sanctuary. So what you are now seeing is a minister, is a priest, a prophet in his own sanctuary. This is my space. I control this area. So where I really want to get to, where I really want to be, and listen to me, listen to me very carefully. My whole goal is to be able to get to a level of success, which is coming real soon, that I can replace my job. Where I don't have to wake up in the morning to go to work and come back at five. Where I can wake up in the morning, go into the sanctuary, pray and read the word all day. All day. Or go out to evangelize and minister and knock on people's houses, go door knocking, and trying to win souls to Christ, not win souls to this church. There are a lot of things that are coming. This is how I want you to be in your own space, which you control, which is your bedroom, but I know you. If you do what I'm now doing in your bedroom, your parents will think you're crazy. If you are in your room right now and you go, Jesus, hallelujah! Your mom will be like running to your door, like, let's take this kid to a psychiatry or psychiatrist to the Looney Tunes place because he's just lost it. And yet the Bible says, I am seeking for those who will worship me in spirit and in truth but the only time you ever worship in spirit which is e if we're even going to say is in spirit is when you're singing somebody else's music somebody else's song for them worshiping god which is not really worship because you are just singing along to somebody else's worship but you yourself haven't worshiped but again that's another revelation Worship now becomes when you can get, you can get started, get moving, and begin to make your own melodies, songs of the Spirit in the Lord, to Him, 
That's why the Bible says in Ephesians 5.19, making melodies and spiritual songs in your heart to the Lord, not singing somebody else's song to the Lord. Just imagine, right? Some of you, you probably don't live far. You probably live in New York, in Philadelphia, in Pennsylvania. That you could be here right now if you wanted to. But the drive, the drive now, you're already thinking if I do that, that's two hours one way, two hours back. Heesh. So I've been supercharging this whole place for weeks. Just praying. Praying. Where I sat down in my chair. It's very potent in this place. Very, very potent. I sat down in my chair. Oh, I'm not going to share that. Hey, Hopefully you are praying. I did not say to stop. And how are we? 36 minutes. Oh, trust me, we can keep going. You see here, when you visit a prophet in his own temple, you will begin to realize this guy does not stop. Because you have become this thing now. I am not simply a priest or a prophet just for this camera. Just, oh, let me now pick up a microphone. No. I do this. This is my life. When I get off this camera and I edit the video to post, I will continue in, in prayer, in worship, in the word. I'll make circles, rounds, and I'll make my own music. I'll start clapping, start stamping my foot on the ground, creating spiritual songs. Saprakatavaziat. There is one song which I created. I was sitting right here. Very, very beautiful song. Very, very beautiful song. Maybe one day I'll sing it for you guys that attend and it will not be recorded. And if you're able, the, it, the, best, the best time to listen to the song would be at, 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 late at night or early in the morning when there's no light or when the light is coming. For you to be able to see it and to sense it and to catch it in your spirit. And you would have to sit you, have to, you would have to be here. Maybe one day I'll sing it for you. Not on the camera, of course. But that's what you should be doing this month and as we continue. Creating songs in the spirit. Edifying yourself, the Bible says, when you pray in tongues. It is for your edification. Not anybody else's. Ziprokutuzavaz, yes. When you see me do this, it is for my edification. And it is for your edification when you pray in tongues. So when you are not praying in tongues, you are not edifying yourself. Ziprokutuzakskazajabrahavanayaris. Arexantaranayare kotuski andre kilegrakatavazia zekskuzajabranavahadis. Irix kantanayarekus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I will not hold you any longer. Even though I could. We could keep going. But I wanted to get something. Because I know we haven't seen each other all week. Because Wednesdays have been getting difficult to get something out.
Asare tohun karana. Bere santis. Ere santo sate yare pare. Alik sun trunu kardis kaza. Etre ketu zajana ki a ketrunu hun Agra santarana ye kala. Imparadasi andre ki angetu zajates. Satahi jadhani angetus. I don't want to stop. I really don't. You know, when I get into a mode of prayer like this, I really don't like stopping. Barak santaranayari kutuski ante aketu zajates. Iprakatanayare kutuski andre kelegrate vazajian de kuruks kabazavanaya teskus. Let's keep going. Birik santranayare krutuski angre ketuza paranavata atis. Akrabanavari angre kutuza javrahadia sendre kelegra katapranava hadis. Ingre kutus kamvranai katas. Kandra kani angre kutuzi atesas. Brakatanaya deku. Dikrantia sendre kele krukutuza jabahavanaya. Ekashian tenekus. Asatayane krutuza jabrahadavani. Aso Atania Itrahatis Ha Varakagana Yedeku Egogusa Shahatis Kandineka Paranait Etrudusa Jetaharin Deneare Katuska Vanai Gingrik Kutuska Tranayare Kadavatias It is happening. It is taking place. Bazak skanda zaje kuku skandra na yere kratavani andre kele krakatavasias. You need to disconnect, my brother, my sister. You need to disconnect from the internet. You need to disconnect from the television. You need to disconnect, disconnect. It needs to. You need to remove it. Start cutting it. Start cutting your consumption and start using that energy. Start using that time for your edification in the word in prayer and in some sort of business some sort of avenue some sort of outlet where you're going to make money pick one zabaks kaza jabrahava dayades kutuski andre kelegra katazajin etre kutus kandra kadaza jabranavra hadis kaza genetus ataza jabranava hadis entre kelegru kutuzajana ekas Evra kanda zakski angre to kuza jabravana edus kaza jabrahava dis kalandres kaza jabranava hadus paratis kandanaet ankara katus kaza genit emprene krakata zavrana yandre kotuskias esa tasa shati andre nahatis sem paranaya re krutuski angre kataza jabravana hadis E prava kara santarana yare kutara e kratani angre kutuski angre tayas. Empa savaji atentrunus kavaji andrena taatis. E vakarun karana yare tavasias. We are increasing. We are going very, very far. Hey! There shall be nobody to stop us. There shall be nobody to stop you. Barakavatias, every plan of the enemy that he has tried to stop you, where you are going, we cancel, we destroy it in Jesus' mighty name. I speak by the authority of the Spirit. Anything that the enemy has tried to ruin your life, we send it back. It shall not touch you. It shall not reach you. By reason of your attendance here, by reason of you bringing your problems to the solution ground, it is done for you. Right now. That's what it was. This life, as long as you are appended to this ministry, it shall be a smooth sailing upwards. Even if you fail, you shall fail upwards. You shall fail in an upward trajectory. Hey! It is happening. It is taking place. Nobody shall be able to destroy you. The person who is meant to kill you has not been born yet. It shall not happen. You shall not die. You shall not die before the time. You shall not die before the Lord comes.
you shall see it all the way through pedu kususa je protava hadias erik sentrene krugu sankara za jevana yandre kutuze jevanias you are the best there is nobody greater than you Birik Sandra na yare krutuzi atre kazavanias. You are God's favorite son. You are God's favorite daughter. Prekutuski angre kete za jabravanaya tesavas. Everywhere you go, you are the shining light to the world. Pasakano hute. Pisankra na hadurus. Impravana hari skandre ne kagazia tesavajit. E Katarin krana yare kavahadis You shall not be touched anybody that plots against you shall be fallen unto them tenfold of what they planned against you Parak santana yade kudus ya shikra kavahadis Prikutus kandrana yare kadavadias Angra kana yare kudus ya je kana vrahadazian telekrukas Brakana krakatis ki angre ketus jubrana vahatias Your light shall be the envy of the world. Parakara nasuski angre ne kutuza jabrahavatiades. You shall be a shining light to those which are around you. Birik santrana ya rekrutus kaza jabravana hadia sentrikini angre kutus kala bravada hadias. He shavahana e krukugubana vaikas. Hey, I'm telling you this is a language. This is a language. We are not just mumbling stuff here no I'm speaking some things now Verukum tarana kia sentre ke gele sum tazajaba Hey Oh we're just flowing We're just getting started We have not even gone deeper yet Piruku karakata ya sentre ke le karakata zajiat Ingrikutus ki angre kana ya rekus Abrakana vrakada ikan de ku karata hatis e prokoto hukoto hukotus hey e prokoto hukoto hukotus hey sahakonu kayange teatas je prokono kagaris kalahati ande koru kapatahan hey ya pasakun tanayare kas ingre kutu sobrati ande karagis ka one day you'll wake up The Bible says kings shall come to your rising. Birik santra na yade kuruks kaza jabrana va hadia deski andre kelege tu sukus kaza jabana va hazia ten kini kia geru sapata na vatias. Hey ya shapa hatunu sukatias. Vere kusundru nukadias. And this is me holding back. This is me at maybe 50% level. Because we can go deeper. But I'm not going to show you me at, you know, going 75 to 100. Bir kara kas kyangre ketuzu jubrana vakadias. And to you, you're like, wow. No, my 50% may be your 100%. Because you have never yet gone this deep. The jubilation, the joy in the things of the Lord, in prayer. I'm at like maybe 30, 40% right now. because i know when i reach when i say to the holy spirit let's go deeper now let's go deep and i start and when i start i can feel the power all within this vessel being filled as is as if somebody is pouring into me saprakada hadrix ki andre kilegre ke tu saja pratavatis King Rakatania said where are we about 40 something minutes in That's nothing It's been 48 minutes this is nothing Look 48 minutes this is nothing we haven't even started I haven't even started I should say Pirik sun trunu kagata zajia teska vana yang greko tu zavatiska cuz I haven't even started running yet Parak sam vrana yare kutuskias Dingri katisi I haven't even really started jumping either Zipronovakskias. I'm. This is me containing myself. Evra kara katis kandre ne kus kaza jo brava na hazit. E kara karaks kaga na vakurus kai kara na kiatos. Ha sa vakari ha braka hudus. Hey, varaka gani angitos. 
Varra kara kaniya ngitus kaze shaprata bakas. One day you wake up. Un dia te levantarás, levantarás. Brakadanias kindrikitias. We are changing area codes. Barak santra naya rekrutuskias. Barak vakahariya desku turuska nahidi kiang girikituska atas. Very karakski angry nekuvuska hasian. I prokuto karakata yandre ketia sitikas. Oh, we can go deeper than that. But if I go any deeper than that, I might scare you. Very san ranaya rekuruska does your protevahadias. Because you might really think, like, hey, this guy is really lost it up in here. But what does the Bible say? The spiritual man is considered a madman and the prophet a fool. And that's in Hosea. So that any time you look at a prophet, you will see a fool. Or at least the people will think this guy is, he's lost it. Because in order to get to prophet, you need to get to madman. And I mean, in, in the spiritual man or the inspired man, how the scripture says. But in order for you to get to spiritual man level, you need to lose it. You need to be considered a madman. And then once you be considered a madman, then you can get to full level. Or at least what the people think is foolish. <laughs> we haven't even gone anywhere yet. We're still at like 50%. But maybe you need to see this. Just you guys here. And you're probably like wondering, what does this guy's 100% look like if he's... Oh, trust me. But we go deep. When you go deep, you'll make sounds. You'll speak in tongues you never even thought you were possible to speak in. You'll be, what am I? What, what was that? You see this? When I'm speaking at this level. It's kind of just like, you know, you're just praying, you know, you're just flowing, you're having casual. Right? It's kind of spiritual whispers to the Holy Ghost, to the Father. And I haven't even started. I haven't even, we're an hour in. And you think, ooh, this, we've been praying for an hour and you probably have already skipped away. No, I, me, I haven't even started yet. This is just my warm up. I'm just warming up. Bidik Santranayare Krutus. You are increasing. You shall never be stopped. No one shall stop you. You shall live a perfect life of enjoyment, of pleasure, of prosperity. You are heavily guarded. You are heavily protected. Any lie that the enemy has whispered into your life, we silence all demonic whispers. In Jesus' mighty name, receive it, receive it wherever it is that you are around the world. Ivra kara karas kandre ne yare kurus ki angre tahavatis. Indre bogruks kada varadiya deskas, indre gelegratias, indre koruks kaze jabrava na hadiya deskatatia. Birik santara na yare kutus kantiya desas. You are increasing beyond measure. You are blessed. You shall never fail. You shall never fail. And if you fail, what did I say? You shall fail upwards. 
in an upward trajectory. Ziprunovakskia, so your failure shall be considered others' promotions. Your failures shall be looked through the lens of what other people consider promotion. If you fail, Barak Savajana Kagia Sentri Kile Greco to Zavahatis Kiangetezux Kazajapahavanaitis. Are Kara Karin Krenegrusia te Saprahavadazia ten Kranagata Zajavrahati and Deskus Kazajabanava. You are increasing. You are blessed. You shall never be stopped. No one shall be able to quench your fire now. We're 55 minutes. Let's close. And I think the, you know, when I, not when I say 55 because this is the second section, so it's probably like 57 or something. So we'll close. We'll keep it an hour. We'll keep it an hour. We won't go two. Even though we, I can do two. And we won't go three, even though I can go three. And we won't go four, even though I can go four. We won't go five, even though I can go five. Six, seven, eight, nine. We can do that. But we won't do that. We will close. Father, I just want to thank you, Lord, for this day. I want to thank you for everything that you are doing in the lives of the members, in the lives of the viewers, and each and every single one of them in their life. In Jesus' mighty name, I give you thanks for them, that you keep protecting them, that you keep pouring into their lives so that they may receive knowledge from up high, wisdom that is precious, understanding that cannot be numbered, quantified in Jesus' mighty name, Father. I give you thanks, glory, and praise. Protect those ones which you have delivered unto me. Keep them heavily guarded. Keep them protected, sheltered. Shower them with your gifts, with your blessings. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. All right, so that's going to be it for this week's Friday prayer session. And I'll see each and every single one of you guys this Sunday for Sunday service. God bless.